Hey Rap Bags, it's Jade. Guess what? We've got our first look at what's coming in the next Grounded update a little bit earlier than maybe we expected. Adam Brennicky, the game director, is going to be joining the Casually Grounded crew later on tonight. And I was going to be doing a reveal live stream, hyping up the live stream, talking about stuff. But the Xbox Wire has actually gone and published some info about the upcoming update ahead of that time. I reckon Obsidian will not be happy. They, I do believe, were going to reveal a whole bunch of stuff with this live stream with Adam Brennicky and Xbox Wire has went and spoiled it a good few hours beforehand. It's called the Make It and Break It update and it looks absolutely insane. Far bigger, far more involved than I ever thought. We'd seen from the teaser trailer that we'd be able to move items from around the yard and possibly by looks of things spawn items in. But just look at the different kind of logic we've obviously got going on here. Design mode, arrows, boxes, brand new uh, devices seemingly with sound effects on them. And what is that? With the brand new Playgrounds mode, you can craft your own levels from the ground up with a suit design tools at your disposal using either the pre-existing backyard or an empty sandbox as a starting point. Oh my god, we've got a sandbox guys. You can craft buildings, place obstacles, furniture and even creature spawners that will drop enemies whenever you like them to be. Create puzzles, mini games, battle arenas, whatever you can dream up. It's a brilliant new addition that revitalized the backyard and we're fortunate enough to get a sneak peek of the tools and chat the ground team how this lovely creative suite came to be. Adam Brennicky says that this was a long time coming. Inspired by the modern community, the team wanted to give players the tools to craft their own unique experience and ability to share and try other creations as well. It's been on the backlog for a very long time, Brennicky says, giving people the opportunity to extend the lifetime of the games they enjoy is always cool, which was important to us. We've always wanted to see what the community can do with these tools. Just look at the craziness of this. And Brennicky, yada yada, bright highlights the limited resources when creating new content, and that with their small team, they've honed it into making the core ground experience the best it can be. With that in mind, a creative suite comprised entirely of assets that already exist felt like the perfect way to give players something, and indeed many possible things, new. We focus on creating a new experience for 1.0 and continue to add quality life updates, more variety and cool features. We got to a point where the backyard felt really fleshed out, we were happy with all the content in the game, and this felt like the next thing to do. To get into the meat of the make it and break it update, the building tools, here you'll find almost every object included in the yard, all the foliage, laboratory pieces, creatures great and small, everything you place is movable down to individual blades of grass. The update also brings a new suite dubbed gadgets and gizmos, and these are the tools that let you build out mechanics for your custom spaces. Grounded QA teams put a ton of work into creating new levels. During the preview, they were shown a handcrafted coliseum with wave upon waves of enemies to battle, a sound puzzle game, as where players have to identify critters by the sounds they make. It's absolutely amazing stuff with plenty to mess around with and no limit to the number of objects you can place. Brennan Kinney's team are giving players a personal invitation to cause chaos. We want you to make it and break it. Our development mentality with ground is not to put any fences around player. We want people to showcase their creativity. Brennicky has a background in programming and is enamoured in the art of making things work. He made make Quake mods in the early days and I hope this will generate a brand new set of tools for people to build with their community. It does look mad, look at this image as well. So the new items that are going to power this are called gizmos and gadgets. We've got buttons, switches and volumes, gameplay and fun and logic. And it looks super in depth. I'm not sure I'm equipped for this. We'll have to see what actually happens with it all, how it's going to pan out. It looks like I've got some sort of, or possibly a counter, stuff we've seen before like traps. And then yeah, all of these different boxes, lots of buttons and switches, crazy stuff. This update also introduces tweaks to existing aspects of Grounded. They went back to the drawing board with the Burgle Quests, which will now come with additional challenges. These changes will draw attention to some early game systems that new players can easily miss. There's also new pieces for base builders, combat adjustments, and a fix to a particular point for players. Your dandelion glider no longer takes up a trinket slot. Woohoo! Make it or break it will come as quite a surprise to grounded players. There has been speculation amongst the community, but Obsidian has managed to keep its teasers ambiguous enough. All that's left is to get stuck into the brand new tools and let your imagination run wild. I don't think this update is something that players would expect, Brennicky says. I think people just want more grounded. I'm definitely providing that in a different way, and we're excited to see where it goes. Well, there we go, folks. We're going to see so much more of this tonight. I'm going to be starting up a live stream, a retro one to get you in the mood with a nice countdown. I'll be watching the stream along, shoutcasting it, I guess, giving you my opinion and reaction to the stuff we're seeing. 
and then I'll be streaming straight after because I can pretty much guarantee the PTB will be going live. They've only got two weeks before it goes live on the 13th. They normally want at least two weeks to test this kind of stuff, especially something as big and crazy as this. So I'll be here first to show you all the brand new gameplay. And the basketball at last, I can't wait. It is a shame it's been leaked a little bit earlier, but for once, it wasn't me that leaked it. Woohoo! And I'm sure there's going to be lots more details about what to expect with today's maybe, possibly PTB update. Don't hold me to that. They may not end up launching it today. It might end up being next week. But yeah, I would imagine it's got to be two weeks, right? So that's it. Make sure you're locked on and I'll see you for that retro countdown live stream showcasing some of my old live stream uh, videos. And then as soon as we get closer to the time of the live stream at 9 p.m., I think it is on the UK time, 3 p.m. Eastern, actually 5 p.m. Eastern, and what, 1 p.m. PST time? You get the idea. Work it out. Until next time, Ratbags. Laters.